what advice would you give young women who are looking at you and saying, wow, she's you know a leading light of the sector, how do I get there? Find a mentor or find a role model that they look to and adopt some of the great attributes and, and, and discipline to make their job easier. And then you have to also be able to manage and juggle. And as long as you can do that, and, and, and if you're married and you're going to have kids, you want to have a great partner or you want to have a great infrastructure, then really you can do anything. And you also need to be a major multitasker. But I think that goes for guys as well. I think um, be open-minded um, about the kind of role that you consider. Um, you know, certainly as I look through my career and some of the choices that I've made, they've been centered around travel, uh, taking on roles because of kind of the skills that I would develop. Um, but also certainly I think the tech industry is broader than technical roles. And I think that's a message that I'd really like people to sort of take away from, you know, the lunch today is that um, you can have any discipline and find a role for yourself in the tech industry. For very young people, I'm a huge believer in traveling and progress your career while traveling as opposed to just travelling for travelling's sake, you'll always gain something from that. But continuously learn and seek feedback, take it and grow. Guys go for interviews for jobs often that are way beyond them and if they don't get them, they go, oh, that was it, they just didn't recognise how good I was, I'll go the next time. Women are inclined to under, and girls, younger women, are inclined to quite often hold back from going for things that they're probably well capable of because they underestimate their skills or because they're less inclined, inclined to take a little bit of a risk by going for that little bit further for, for a job interview at a, that's at a stretch above where they currently are. I would say go for it. Uh, what's the worst that happens? You won't get it but at least you've shown that you're interested in advancing your career and you're an ambitious person. I think it's very crucial for, for young women to not let the voices of the media and, and parents and community people that may doubt the, your abilities or what you can do with your career and, and sort of, you know, kind of quit listening to those voices and really pay attention to what you want to do. And, you know, I always tell people if I could do it with the little background that I had, then anyone can do it. I know people say there are glasses. Ceilings. I think we impose our own glass ceilings because of our nature and because also a lot of women start having their kids in their late 20s and early 30s. My advice to young women is go for it. Nothing will stop you. If you want to get what you want in life, just work hard and nothing will stand in your way.